Hey guys, Sig's Much here today. I have two cigarette reviews for you. The first one is going to be these number seven blues. Um, I got a request for them and I don't remember who requested them. I'm really bad when it comes to that. Um, you know who you are if you requested it. Um, I'm going to try putting them in the, descript in the description if I forget who uh, did it, which is going to be most cases, I think. Um, anyway, yeah, number seven blues, they were requested by um, one of my subscribers. Um, yeah, let's get going on this uh, here pack for the number seven blues. Just going to take all this plastic off really quick. Um, I got two left. It'll be minus one once I'm done this review, but um, yeah, uh, here we go. Number seven blues. It says it right up there. Um, smooth, rich taste. Um, that's in French, though. And these are made by Roxy Tobacco Company. Smooth, rich taste. Bam. Um, number seven, again, with the, the letter seven in a blue kind of circle, white, black, and then silver which is in a circular kind of pattern I guess. Um, they got the three quarter warning again which is dumb as fuck but what are you gonna do? Um, yeah I'll just read the warnings I guess. I wish I had never started smoking. I was diagnosed with uh, cancer of the larynx when I was 48. Uh, I had to have my vocal cords removed and now I breathe through a hole in my throat. And um, another one is tobacco smoke contains more than 70 chemicals that can cause cancer. Thanks, Health Canada, whatever. Um, yeah, pretty much the pack is pretty nice other than the, the health warnings. That's the only part I don't like about it. But um, yeah, just it lets you know what these are, who makes them, whatever. Number seven, there you go. Um, on the back they got this little kind of whatever that's supposed to be not dragon or anything oh it's supposed to be like a horse and anchors or something I don't know I don't know, I don't know. but anyway that's the pack oh when you open the pack up too um, they have a little comments thing up in the top there with their little logo and blue foil that says number seven on it with the little, with the little seven um, circle. Um, yeah. So let's get to. Oh yeah, these are also king size. So, and they are packed. Uh, let's get the cigarette design itself. Uh, these are perforated. But anyway, white filter it says. Um, gonna be one of these it's kind of blurry but number seven in a silver oval with the number seven um, logo there so I do like the cigarette design I can't show you the perforations on this one because they're really small it even takes me a minute to find them but yes they are perforated these are not the full flavors so um, yeah, let's get going on this and I'll tell you what they're like. I don't know if you saw some of those, but I did have some O's this morning. So. Anyway, um, these do have a pretty good taste for being a lighter cigarette. They're not as harsh as the number seven reds, which I like a lot, <coughs> but they aren't too bad either. I mean, these are the 
The reds and the blues are pretty much the ones that I get for number seven if I'm getting any of them. I tried the greens, they're kind of alright. They're not, I'd rather have an accord green or menthol, but um, yeah, they're not terrible. So. Anyway, it might be a little loud. They're doing semi semi truck training right by where I'm at. Um, yeah, no, really good taste. I do like these. They look great. Um, one sec. They do actually give you a, a decent buzz too, um, yeah, and they they last quite a bit. Kind of, uh, blah, blah, blah. they're not the fastest burning cigarette either, which is kind of nice. Sometimes. Which is, yeah, I really like the, the kind of longer burning cigarettes. But, um, yeah, no, these are just overall really good. I definitely recommend them. Pick them up. Even if you're, like, really in the full flavors, check them out. They're pretty good. Um, yeah, no, I definitely like these. As you guys noticed, I got a haircut, so... Did that yesterday. Um, yeah, my hair is pretty freaking short, so yeah, figured it was about time. So why not? Um, yeah, pretty much this weekend, just gonna be hanging out with friends and stuff. And then next uh, next weekend, I got my buddy's stag, and his wedding's coming up at the end of the month too. So. That's pretty exciting, I'm happy for them. Um, but uh, anyway, let's get to rating these. Um, pack design, I do like it. It's a 10 out of 10 in my books, except for the warnings, that's the only part that's not. Um, cigarette design, I really like it. I mean, it's pretty basic. Um, yeah, like, but um, I mean, if it just said number seven, yeah, it would be kind of cool too. I'm going to give the cigarette design a, yeah, I'll give it nine and a half out of ten. I do like it. Taste, um, um sorry, just kind of spacing out there for a minute. Taste, I'm going to give a, I'll give it a nine and a half out of ten as well. Um, for being a light anyways. Burn time, I still got quite a bit left to go, so. Burn time I'm gonna give a, I'll give a nine, nine and a half out of 10. It's decent as well. Um, buzz, you definitely do get a bit of a buzz off of these. Not super strong, not, not like the reds give you, but um, with these, I'm going to probably give the buzz rating a, um, I'm going to give the buzz rating probably an, an 8.5 out of 10. Like I said, it's not the greatest from these, but it's not terrible either. Um, overall, I'm going to give these cigarettes a, um, I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. A 9 out of 10 of my books. Um, yeah, that is pretty much it for the review. Um, some other guys you should check out is uh, Tom's Sig Reviews, Shiggity Joe 69, um, Nerf Merchandise, RJ the Smoker, Real Sig Reviews. Um, smoking revs, smoking revs, sorry, there's no G after smoking, or, yeah, whatever. Um, 
Max Reviews 101, I guess. Um, the Doctor's, or the Doctor Sig Reviews. He hasn't posted in a while. Um, yeah, um, just check those guys out. They got really good tobacco reviews. Um, Yeah, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, send me a message um, of any recommendations or questions that you have for me. Um, if you play games on the Steam client, you can add me at Bucket45. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching pretty much. This thing has got a few more drags left on it. but. Um, yeah, pretty much uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you do all the good stuff. And uh, next up was also a request by somebody that I forgot the name of again, but Export A Silvers. So I'm going to do it right after this. So stay tuned for that, you guys. And um, we will see you later. All right, bye.